What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Destiny 2 and how a lot of people in the community are wondering what's going to happen with the game after all of the layoffs and changes that seems like Sony is making uh, inside of Bungie in general. They have had mass, mass layoffs for the Destiny 2 uh, kind of development team. Not just as of recently, but before you know the final shape was released, there was also some layoffs. And then the layoffs that we've had in the last you know month have been pretty substantial. You even had some of the bigger team people on the team there that have been there for a while stepping down and going on to other things. We don't have any details just yet, but the Bungie or Destiny 2 uh, team Twitter uh, tweeted out that they knew, knew that the recent changes at Bungie have created uncertainty surrounding the future of Destiny. It says, rest assured, we remain committed to Destiny, to supporting our community with transparency and delivering regular updates with the game. It says, we'll be talking uh, with you all about the future of Destiny and their plans for their next multi-year journey soon. Once we plan a flag for the date, we will let you know. It says, thank you, uh, thank you for your patience and we'll see you again. So a lot of people were kind of concerned when they heard that Bungie was going to step away from that uh, paid content DLC every year. We have that one big story arc because that is something that has you know, piqued a lot of people's interest. Even if they step away from the game for a while, they will always come back and play that one big, you know, DLC story that they have when it comes out. Now they're talking about going to smaller kind of uh, expansions. Uh, the word right now is they're going to be free. We'll kind of have to wait and see if that's really going to be the case. But free expansions for Destiny, um, a lot of people were kind of concerned there would not be enough content there. Sometimes it's hard to keep a live service game going. Uh, with smaller content packs. Some games do it well, some games do not. Uh, some games decide to go the route that Destiny went and have you know larger, you know big things come out each year. You look at World of Warcraft, has done it for a long time. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online does that as well. But it seems like Sony and Bungie have decided to go in a bit of a different direction, and it looks like we're going to get uh, more of a idea of what's happening when the Destiny 2 team decides to, you know, I'm sure they're going to have some kind of video they're going to put out talking about this. But the next multi-year journey is what kind of caught my attention out of this tweet. And that is something that I don't know if a lot of people were expecting. I think a lot of people were thinking, you know, before the layoffs, they may slow down on content because they're going to make Destiny 3 or another type of Destiny game. Uh, we did learn the next game they were talking about making was not going to be first person. It was going to be third person. It's going to be a lot different than what we have seen in Destiny 1 and 2. But overall, I think a lot of people were really wondering what was going on and now that all the layoffs have happened and they're kind of you know changing directions of, of what you know we can expect to see in the future with a multi-year journey it does sound like we're going to get several more years of content for destiny 2 they may decide not to even you know go forward with making another game i'm not quite sure how they're going to do that because they have to remove so much content from the game considering old gen consoles cannot keep up with the memory uh, you know, of, of having all of that content on the platform. You know, PS5, the new uh, Xbox Series S and X and PC, you know, those new platforms or those new consoles are able to, you know, have all this, you know, stuff, you know, saved in the memory. But at the same time, eventually, I think even the new gen consoles, and if you do not have a brand new PC, it's going to have more of a hard time playing the game just because there's so much stuff there memory-wise for the game to keep up with. So, a lot of people I were really hoping, including me, that they were going to start, you know, since they're doing this, you know, getting rid of pretty much sunset weapons and bringing those all back. I was hoping they're going to do that with planets as well. You know, places we have visited in the past that are not here anymore, they're going to start bringing those back. They've already mentioned uh, bringing things back that people enjoy playing, you know, that are like repeatable uh, things that we've had in past seasons, you know, where you have these repeatable activities you can do. If they start bringing all that back to the game, that's going to be a really great thing, in my opinion, because it's going to give players a lot of stuff to do, even if you don't have that big story, uh, you know, DLC or content once a year. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious how they're going to keep up with, you know, the memory issues they've talked about before on old-gen consoles and those consoles not being able to have, you know, or the reason that it's holding the game back quote and that's a lot of games that say that nowadays that the older gen systems hold them back from being able to add some stuff or keep some stuff into the game just so you know everyone's you know can still play the same stuff play the still still play the same content but all of that um you know memory loss on older consoles kind of hurts 
uh, you know, the overall health of the game when it comes to the amount of content they can keep out at one time. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Are you interested to see, or what would your opinion be, I guess, for this multi-year journey that you think the Destiny team is going to you know, talk about here sometime pretty soon, I hope, uh, because I know a lot of people in the community are kind of curious what's going on. What would you like to see going forward in Destiny 2? So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.